While 100,000 F1 fans flood the strip later this week, they will see a large metro presence, and there is a lot those fans won't see that has been deployed to keep them safe. Our Fox 5 expert tonight is Under Sheriff Andrew Walsh, and our first question is one many of you might have as well. So here we are, F1 week. Are you ready? Yeah, as an organization, I think we're ready. As a community, I think we're ready. Uh, I know we're ready as an organization. Um, you know, there's a lot of planning that goes into executing something like this, uh, and we're good at that. You know, I think that's one of the reasons why this city was chosen as a destination is our ability as an organization and as a community to put on an event like this, uh, and it'll be like no other event that we've ever had. Uh, you know, the dynamics and the logistics involved, but uh, we're ready, our workforce is ready, we're, we're prepared. This all happens as a war rages in the Middle East. It's inflamed a lot of hate in this country. Does that factor into your planning? Does it add to the concern level? Yeah, I mean, when we look at this event from a threat perspective, you know, there's a, a variety of things that we have to consider. And then when you have conflict across the globe, uh, which flares up, you know, um, a little bit uh, long, you know, about a month prior to this thing kicking off, it, it, it adds to the complexity of it, but it was things we were prepared for uh, and preparing for just to make sure that the crowds that are here are safe. Uh, you know, the international picture is all, we, we knew there was gonna be international travel associated with this event. So we, we had a good plan prior to what happened on October 7th in Israel. So we're in good shape. And you're working with Homeland Security. Is there anything that they've told you that you can share with us about their preparation? People find a false sense of comfort in is this idea that that, you know, there's no known credible threats. It's an expression that's been used, and I think that we look at that and, you know, people want to embrace that. For me, all that tells me is that if there is somebody planning on doing something to this event, uh, they've done so to this point undetected, and that's the scary part. So uh, then, then what we're hoping is that it, we're able to mitigate that if it does kick off. And to, to the outsider, that would sound like a very pessimistic approach, but I guess to a law enforcement professional, it's just a very realistic approach. Yeah, rather, I'm, I'm an alarmist. Our whole organization is treating this as uh, this is a potential target. You know, inter, like you said, it's an international audience. It has all the makings of this. But the other thing we also have some comfort in and what I have a lot of confidence in is the leadership that we'll have out there working this event. The leadership we'll have at the variety of command posts that are set up to deal with this. Uh, the leadership that we have to make sure that the rest of the community is policed properly. And we have a posture in the, in the neighborhoods to keep our neighborhoods safe this weekend. And so um, there's a lot that goes into this, like you said, and, uh, you know, we're, we're ready. And is it a, is it a situation where you, you flood the event with officers, both undercover and just plain, you know, in uniform? Or do you rely more on technology these days? It's both. The great thing about technology, it is a force multiplier uh, for us. Uh, but you also have to have a very visible uh, deterrence out there. You have to have a very visible presence. And in the weeks leading up to this, you know, uh, us having a large visible presence in where the race will take place and throughout the community, that visible deterrence prior to the event, you know, with the goal of disrupting anybody that's doing any type of pre-operational surveillance on where a good target would be for this event. Those things all come together now this week. More of our interview with Under Sheriff Walsh is on our website, fox5vegas.com. Just click on the Experts tab. And while you're there, you can watch interviews with our other Fox 5 experts.